All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Resonator profile review um, that Woodering Waves posted on their website yesterday. I'm going to go through the page and check out the art and everything they have written about her lore and stuff like that. I'm just curious about it. If you do not want to see any spoilers or anything, I'm just going to drop the link to this page below. So you can just go straight to the page and... Looks absolutely stunning. Affiliation Jin Show attributes Spectro. She's going to be a Spectro Resonator, right? Good stuff, and she looks just amazing. Just amazing. About Jinshi. Blessing. Blessing of Jinshou Magistrate. In the local culture of Jinshou, Lung is an auspicious sign that brings forth good fortune. Being the long Lung maiden, Jinshi seems to have luck on her side. Whether she's casually flipping through stacks of documents or picking from a packed basket of loom buns she always finds exactly what she needs effortlessly as if guided by fate word of the street is that jinshi's good fortune might extend beyond herself affecting those around her following one of her visits it's said that everyone on the street experiences a sudden stroke of luck to name a few mr shao finally sold his unsold goods at a price high enough to cover his wife's medical bills. Ming, Ming Jiu received his long-awaited salary and companies stopped withholding wages from their workers. The fortune's favor to Jinshi thus inspires many to make wishes and the pond outside City Hall, yearning for a share in her luck. In response to those hopes, she delightedly continues her duties, confident that her blessing will reach every resident of Jinshu. Refreshing moments. Whenever snowflakes fall on Jinshi's eyelashes, fatigue following a sense of itch catches her. As the ancient saying goes, loon ascends to the sky at the spring equinox and lurks in the water the autumn equinox. I didn't understand anything, but okay. For the Lu Maiden, winter should be her time to curl up in a warm blanket and indulge in a cozy sleep. However, the people of Jinshou are otherwise busy in winter, marking both the end and at uh, the end of the year and the time of harvest. Winter holds great significance for them. To better serve her people in this bustling time, Jinshi would have. The kitchen prepare some loon buns filled with perilla and mints to perk her up right up with its fresh fragrance and sharp taste. When this fails to dispel the fatigue, she would open the window to immerse herself in the bright lights of the street and the laughter of people that flew into the courtyard with dancing snowflakes. There's nothing quite like Joyful law for Jinshou's people to rejuvenate her spirits. Signs of shyness. She shares a resonance connection with the Sentinel Jew. Jui, maybe? Causing her to adopt some of the Sentinel's appearance when using her powers. When she uses the ability to control time or synchronizes with the Sentinel, a pair of long horns pr uh, protrude from her head. Under the trains tr of a Excessive use of power or severe injury, her skin grows long scales. Yet, in recent events, she discovered that even moments of shyness can evoke these futures, a rare occurrence that startled her. As the Jinshou magistrate, Jinshi maintains calm and dig dignified demeanor, accepting whatever comes her way. However, when she met the honored guest, the fabled rover, you and me, a few small scales appeared alongside those from the past wounds. Unlike the scales caused by injuries, these new scales don't bring pain, but rather a warm, tingling feeling, revealing signs of Jinxi's shyness that only manifests till now. 
visions of the dream. The sentinel's Jew, the sentinel Jew, or Jew, possesses the, the gift of prophecy, and that grants Jinshi the spiritual ability to receive visions in her dreams. Amidst uh, a harrowing peril, she found herself caught in a vague hallucination where a strange yet familiar figure appeared, offering her a sense of relief and comfort. Following this present, she managed to um, extricate herself from danger, regained her composure, and gathered all her strength to rush to the appointment she had promised three days ago. Laughing in the gentle glow of moonlight, the person from her dream arrived at the venue with firm strides. It was the rover. Every time she recalls their encounter, Jin, she feels itchy behind her ears. Maybe she's growing small scales again. Resonance Evolution Report. Jin, she, bird place one long, tacit mark, middle back, resonance source, detailed analysis of Jin, she's resonance spectrum pattern has unveiled a striking resemblance to that of Sentinel Jew. Vigorous testing has uncovered strong syntony reactions. Nevertheless, the precise trigger behind Jinxi's awakening remains enigmatic due to the uh, sentinel's special position. Overclock diagnostics report. Resonant criticality extremely high. Resonator's Jinxi fr frequency displays high stability. It is uh, almost certain that she bears no risk of overclocking. Current diagnosis, routine Examinations are recommended, while phys uh, psychological counseling is currently deemed unnecessary. All right, a little bit more art and appearance. Leader of Jin Shou. Dignified and poised, Jin Shi always wears a gentle smile. She demonstrates absolutely emotional control and handles everything in stride. Untainted purity. Jinshi's long hair is styled into delicate twin ponytails, uh, complemented by sharply tailored garments uh, adorned in an exquisite white. Her bright gaze shines with an uncommon purity. Horns of Lung. This is what was written a little bit above. When Jinshi uses her 40, a pair of long horns, Lung horns appear on her forehead and she's enveloped by a radiant glow. These manifestations suggest her profound connection with the Sentinel. Damn. Anecdotes. Cherished item. Lung buns. Look at them. Yummy. A plate of lung buns made by Jinshi herself, each adopting a pink hue and a sprinkling of osmotum, osmantus powdered sugar. Each long bun has a unique filling. Custard, lotus seed paste or sweet bean paste. Our honored guest awaits just beyond the threshold. I wonder which flavor will tick the box. Jinxi's ideals. People prayed to the Sentinel not out of weakness, but because they had no other resource. As leader, I will guide my peoples towards a future where humanity takes control of our own destiny. Jinxi's story. The snow of mountain firmament. I still vaguely remember how the snowflakes there danced in their own uh, whimsical ways. One moment they were hovering in the air and the next moment they flew upwards into the sky, twirling around the tree branches. Not before long, everything was coated in a shimmering blanket of white. In Jinsho, snow brings a sense of peaceful togetherness. Strangers become friends as they brush off each other's sh shoulders and build snowmen together. Whether the snow is light or heavy, I pray to always protect these precious moments of pure tranquility. I am. They, they write pretty beautiful <laughs> stories. But the bustling city of Jinsho is a product of every blooming flower, sturdy brickwork and occupied home. With every new visitor, the city gains new life. Among them, you are truly one of a kind. No, I'm not simply repeating what our sentinel has said. These words come from my heart as well. Standby pose. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, we'll see that in a couple of days. Character menu. They're just pretty much revealing almost everything. Convene animation. Ooh, damn, this looks cool. I wish... 
I'll get this. <clears throat> I'll see this a little bit more often. The moment they release the banner and I click that convene, I hope we see that. It looks really cool. Resonance Liberation. Let's take a look at the, the alt. Damn. Dragons. I like it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, so here it is. Uh, I believe that she's going to be a spectacular resonator. She was in the first part of the story. She comes in. She looks amazing. Now the fact that we know that she's also a spectral um, resonator makes it even more interesting. That means that we can try out new spectral uh, combos and stuff like that. I will definitely will try my luck to summon her in a couple of days once her banner is out and the update lands on the 28th. So yeah, if you do enjoy content like this, please, please let me know uh, in the comments below. But also if you don't enjoy this, this might be too boring for you if you're not interested in the lore, if you're not interested in what the company is sharing with us before we get the, the resonator. Also let me know. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.